because I do some behind the scenes. Oh my goodness. Whoo, okay. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. So I am a huge lover of plants. I've got tons of them around my home and I'm always on the hunt for cute new plant pots. So I thought that I would show you today how you can either take some old ones that you have in your home, just simply don't fit your decor anymore, or some really cheap and expensive ones from the dollar store and really transform the look of them to make them a lot more high end. So let's get into the DIY. So here are the misfit pots that I'm working with, a collection of things that I've thrifted over the years and I'm just going to refresh them completely. So I have some air dry clay, clay here and this is just from the dollar store. I'm going to roll it out with a wine bottle, yes, and I'm going to kind of mold it and press it into the base of this plant pot. So this is basically going to give us a, a new canvas to imprint a design. You'll want to try and smooth that out as best as possible. I was not able to get it perfect and you know what I'm totally okay with that I like this look that it had but I used my ring to imprint these little V shapes which I absolutely love but obviously not everybody has that ring so you could always use a toothpick to do a design as well so while that dries overnight you can go ahead and work on the next pot like I did I spray painted it white and for whatever reason it looks like it's a texturized spray paint even though I did not buy a texturized spray paint but I decided to do the splatter effect with some mixed acrylic paints that I had made to fit my decor and um, that one's really easy. It's just an old toothbrush and you splatter the paint all over it. So this next one, I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. It was just an utter mess. <laughs> <laughs> so um, starting fresh, giving it a new uh, coat of black spray paint, and I did this as well to the um, clay pot that had dried overnight. Really love how this one turned out, by the way. I think it might be my favorite, but to kind of blend the line from where the clay started and stopped, I decided to paint a white line here across, and I think it did a good job of blending that, and it looks beautiful in my opinion, but you can let me know down in the comments. Okay, so our last pot is uh, pretty simple, but I really love the mixed medium idea here. Um, taking something that, you know, is like a clay or a porcelain pot and adding something different, which in my case is kind of like this bamboo wrap. It's from a previous DIY a thrift flip that I had done and I had torn it off of the original piece and kept it because I keep everything. Um, but I'm just wrapping it around the base of this plant and I really love the effect that it gave. You just hot glue it on, you could do something very similar with maybe a macrame cord or some yarn and that is it Which one is your favorite that I created here today? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you attempt to make any of these or it, you know you get some inspiration from them, please send it to me, share it with me via Instagram or Twitter. You can follow me there at Janelle Steeper. Just tag me in anything that you're making at home because I love to see what you're doing as well. And if you're not already following me in there, uh, go check it out because it's a, an inside look into like my everyday life, but also I do sometimes give some sneak peeks on upcoming DIYs there as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do new DIYs every single Wednesday, so please subscribe if you're not already. Cheers and I'll talk to you next week.